Perry, it's my first interview of a winning. You're the first man to come on. What a performance. It's a, it's a privilege, mate. It's a privilege. What a performance today, though, eh? I can't tell you how much of a win that was, mate. That's a massive, massive result. We had to win today. We had to win today. Mate. Huge. Massive, massive three points. My voice is gone. That's good. Listen to me. I'm the same as you. That's what I like to see. A bit. We need to bring this atmosphere to home. Yeah, Terrific atmosphere now today from our fans. Oh, it's fantastic, mate. Again, everything from the boys on the field, boys off the field, mate. Can spot on. Let's talk about them boys on the field then. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Cresswell for a start coming back. What a bonus he gave us. That attack down that wing, I thought it was superb. Apart from the sending off, obviously, silly things, but how good is it to have him back? Oh, fantastic, mate. It, it was solid. I think Obiang was spot on today, mate. It was, it was an absolute rock, mate. Absolutely. I said it last week, and I'll say it again, or a week before, and I'll say it again. Winston Reid and Obiang were brilliant. And I'll, I'll be honest, I thought Zaza was very good. He ran and chased everything down for us today. Good shift. It, it, yeah, he it, it, it put a good shift in, but his first touch is... It's a little thing sometimes. He needs a goal, doesn't he? he you know, that goal, the confidence to come. He, but he needs a goal, but it's defended from the front, though. It's, you know, it's, it's spot on, mate. It's the the effort he gave us today, listen, I thought was tremendous, yeah, if I'm exactly, honest. Exactly, spot on. I'll, I'll tell you what, I mean, what a game, though. Perfect away day, eh? Big Daddy. Oh, he's got a smile on his face. Dom, Dom, this, this is my first recording of the season with us winning. Yeah. And you got a smile. Tell me. Boy. Tell me your reaction today. Mate, I've just survived a cardiac arrest. Off that last 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, I don't need none of them, Jesus. My ticker won't cope. <laughs> nah, nah, what a save by Adrian at the end. <sighs> Jesus Christ. To be fair, he's been getting so much stick, but that was a believable save. Worldy. World class save. Yeah. It's what he can do, you know? Like It's what good keepers do. He has a bad patch, but he pulls off master class like that. Yeah, that, that was different class, for, in my opinion, for us to stay in that game and come out of here with three points. You in a rush? No, no, I'm sick of the time. <laughs> <laughs> is, there any, is it Freddy Fuller? Is it full time, yeah? What's that? Anyway, brilliant performance. That yeah. was a team performance all round. Bang on, right, and this was my point, which I've said in my interviews. I thought Winston Reid was very good. Mm, yeah, I, thought, I, I thought Obiang was very good. And I thought Zaza put a good shift in. Mm. I think the away day took the pressure off us, Baz, to be honest with you, mate. I'm absolutely ecstatic, mate. Um, I, I am made up. There's so many positives out of that game. Listen, there's a negative of Aaron Crosswell sitting red, but... How good was it to have him back in our side? We needed him. Uh, Masuaku, have I pronounced that right? Masuaku. Masuaku has been a decent signing at six million for us, but I don't think there's a better player uh, than uh, Cresswell. No, I said it, and I said it in the ground. Now that man ain't got an England cap, I never know. We all used to sit about Mark Noble last year and say how he deserved it. Aaron Crosswell has been class for us for two years, and again back today in one game. That option he just gave us down that wing, and to get forward, it's different class, which I think we've missed. He wears a magic hat, mate. Well, he does. Well, I've got one of his magic hats. I stole it out of his car. Positioning this As a shot stopper, I think if it was just on shot stopping, Adrian would be the the, um, the the Spain number yeah. one. I think it's his distribution that, yeah. that, that makes De Gea and, and whatnot yeah, yeah, yeah. get ahead of him. Yeah. Aside from that, as a very shot true. stopper, he's very, very good. And we're lucky to have him at West Ham. At West Ham, we don't... We don't we are still we're West Ham United. We, we we don't deserve the the Spain number one or, or anyone's number one. And I think as a West Ham goalkeeper, he is more than adequate. And what a great pleasure it is to have Randolph yeah, as number two. Decent, decent backup keeper. Sunderland at home next week. We must back this up now. We must go and win that. They've lost again today. We should win that. I think we will. Not. not I, should, I think. Will. I think. After Middlesbrough last week, I said it. We looked more confident. We look more organised, and I thought we was again today. And I think we will now go on a little bit of a roll. I think so. I think Payet's played well for France. I think he's up for it. I think you see that last week with Borough when he scored the goal, or a week before when he scored against Borough, and he's running back, giving that. You know, I'm his critic, biggest critic, because. Yeah. The, I, listen, I love the guy to pieces. What a footballer. There ain't a better footballer on our side for what he does. Yeah. But. He hasn't shown that passion and interest until Middlesbrough. That goal and him giving it that to our fans, that made me think, I'm going to start singing your name again. Because I hadn't sung his name. Baz, let's be perfectly honest. Let's be perfectly frank here. You are sitting in the front. You look at my vlog today, you'll see you in front of me. You're at home games, you're at away games. You give it a large one. You made, let's be yeah, honest yeah. with you, you made your back. You made your name off the back yeah, yeah. of the of the, um, noble. Of the noble. noble yeah. You're there. You're at games. You see it. And you see what people produce. And if you think that Pyatt has tailed off a bit, then I would totally respect yeah, but your opinion. I, I thought we did to the end of last season, if I'm honest. I do think that. You're not on your own. You're not on your own there. But um, this isn't slagging him off. It's only my opinion, you know. I, I, I agree, but I also do think that whilst other players need to give 90 
90 minutes, I think Payet could give 10 minutes and change a game. And I've said it, listen, if he's 80% fit, he plays. And when you write your team shit out, his name is down first. 100%. He's that yeah. good. He has to be in your side. But you just, you just, we miss that enthusiasm and want from him. And he's shown that for me for the last two, probably three games, but Borough giving it the big one was what I wanted to see from him, for us and our fans, you know. I agree, and I think his France performances have probably helped that. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. he's feeling more motivated, he's feeling more up for it. And that's what he needs, a motivated Payet, because everyone else can give the effort, he, he needs to give the sprinkler magic. Do you know what, I'll be honest with you, I think what with the start of the season, eight games in, we've been waiting for that, haven't we? Oh, mate, I, I just said it in my to, last interview. T- to be honest with you, even when we went down to the 10-men, Cresswell, I've had a couple of texts live in the game saying it was a penalty and we're all done by I thought which, it was a penalty. I did. Which, which, let's be honest, I think that we we know that we we've had a few hard ones last season and we've had another hard one now. I'll have a look at it when I get home. But listen, even with ten men, I thought we were stronger. I thought we were stronger the whole game, to yeah. be honest with you. And that little bit of luck we've had today with that penalty miss, we ain't had that all season yet, have we? Listen, we've probably ridden luck, but we haven't had none the other end, have we? So true. at the end of the day, I think we were worthy of the three points. I think even all right, listen. None of us here would be West Ham, would we? If we knew that obviously we went down to 10 men and then battled it the way that we did, I think no one yeah. can take away the three points. I, can th- it? I thought we had a great performance today. I, I said it again in my last one, Zaza, I thought we put a great shift in. Do you know what? I think it's come under a lot of criticism and I think probably rightly so at the start. But then how long do you, give, how long do you judge someone? That's right, yeah, you can't uh, judge uh, them after one or two. How games. many games should you give? But today, I thought he was arguably our best player. I thought when he went off, the standing evasion. Um, the fact he didn't clap the support is neither here nor there, I think. I think he's probably still trying to prove a point himself. And the fact that he did, I think, was uh, everything's a positive. It's just Massively, a positive. A, a massive positive was having Aaron Crossrail back in the side, who I thought he just gave us that option down the wing again today. Do you know what, as well? I think with the 3,000 travelling, as always, each one of us me knew and what you, today. Yeah. We were part of that all the time. Me and you, Steve is doing the filming. You I think, know. do you know what, I think. Everyone travelling knew what was needed today, and I see a few guys that I sat with at West Ham, you know, Upton Park, BML, and, uh, and they said, what's needed today is for the support to stand up, and I think the 3,000 done that today. Yeah, massively, mate, I thought our atmosphere was terrific in there. We need to take that back to the Olympic Stadium, don't we? If we produce that atmosphere that we produced here today, with 60,000 of us, or 57,000, how special will that place be? I think it will be. I think there's a lot of underlying issues to address there, but I do believe that if we can get that if we can get the underlying issues sorted, I think then maybe we can be not a force to be reckoned with, probably the wrong word. We're not having as good a season as last season. But I think if we push on from here, I think coming down here, our place to go, Palace done what we never. I think they've strengthened a lot. I think obviously Ben Teke missing the penalty um, was hard on them. And then hitting the post straight after, didn't they? Hitting the post straight after. So, do you know what? I think we come under a lot of pressure. I think that we've, uh, we've dealt with that pretty well. Fortunately, it's Sunderland next. It ain't Man City, it ain't Chelsea, it ain't Arsenal. You know, Sunderland. Sunderland's another team. That but that's that's well. such a winnable game With for Defoe, us. Defoe, you know, if we if we don't play well, but then Defoe can punish us. But look, that that's a must-win game. We, we we go into these games in regardless what goes on in the team. In these interviews and off the game, in that nothing said about the fans. If our fans go in there into that ground with the ump about anything to do with that stadium, it sets a negative vibe. Mate, massively, and it gets onto the pitch. I said it earlier on. You know, that, that atmosphere. I'll, I'll, praise, I'll praise Crystal Palace. I think they've got a great atmosphere here. Yeah, Although they've got a man with a drum and that, but they've got a good atmosphere in this stadium. Not many home sides do, but today. We were superb. We, no, Three we thousand of us. We yeah, did out singing. I could taste the atmosphere. To be fair, it was huge. What was it like? <laughs> Do you want all that chicken, mate? We're talking about food. It's making me dribble. But no, I thought we were tremendous. If we go into that our next game at home, if we 3,000 take that, we're having a laugh yeah, there yeah. and we do all right. Let's look forward now. Forward thinking. Let's, let's just get to the training ground on Monday, start again. Are you going to teach Adrian some more shapes? <laughs> yeah, I will do, yeah. Yeah, good man. Yeah. Martin, watch out for this kid at all the shop, will you? Yeah. Cheers. I'm his dietitian. Martin, Cheers, Luke, thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, lads. Give him a come on you irons. Come on, you iron!